Hello everyone and welcome to episode 108 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. I got eight questions today, but before I jump into those questions, I just want to give a huge massive thank you once again for the support in the last episode. I don't fully understand how the algorithm works on YouTube, but I must have done something right because that episode got over 400 views. So that's just absolutely mind blowing to me. So thank you all very much for watching and for asking questions, leaving likes, subscribing and everything. Just thank you all for the support i appreciate each and every one of you now let's get into the question starting with legend lego and he says asa what are your thoughts on the new clone trooper and battle droid battle pack i mean for starters it's beautiful it's amazing and like what a deal like this is a great value 30 dollars for all of this it's basically two battle packs but for the price of one and a half it comes with nine minifigures and four builds i do agree that the republic side of builds do seem a little lackluster luster that speeder is a little ugly and that little fort is a little kind of wimpy i don't like the helmet holes on the clones of course but i do think it's really cool to see another coruscant guard from the gunship and i do think it's really cool to see three phase two grunts the battle droids look really cool because they redesigned the super battle droid it just looks a little bit more sleek and clean i'm also hoping that that means that the legs won't break anymore this is just a great battle pack because it's like here's some guys we haven't seen in a long time and it's for a great price like it's just it's a great battle pack and i can't wait to get my hands on one i'll definitely do a short review on it even though no one will probably watch it but i'm definitely definitely excited to get my hands on one i can't wait for january for that reason next question is from plorpis asa have you seen santa <laughs> Does going to the mall and seeing that Santa count? Because if so, then yes. But if not, then sadly, no, I have not. Ho, ho, ho. Next question is from Clone66 Studios ASA. When do you decorate for Christmas? I typically decorate for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. So whatever day that is. So this year it was on the 24th. But I actually decorated on Thanksgiving this year because I was kind of bored while I was like waiting. So I was like, hey, I'll just do it now. So I decorated my room. My family decorated the house before Thanksgiving though. I also decorated my channel. I put up my snowman PFP and I changed the banner. So I think it looks pretty cool. It's just the banner from last year. But the PFP is new. I'm a snowman. Next question is from TG Collects. ASA, what do you want for Christmas? Possibly potatoes? I mean, you can't go wrong with potatoes, right? Like, potatoes would be a fantastic gift. But I'll also take Lego. Lego would be cool or gift cards, you know. But if you guys want to buy me, like, gift cards or Lego or something, you know, you can. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on Instagram if you want to DM me. No, I'm just kidding. Potatoes would be a great gift. Not gonna lie. Santa should bring people potatoes. Next question is from Scott Daves. ASA, do you leave potatoes out for Santa on Christmas Eve. You know, I don't, but I should this year. I bet Santa would love that. In fact, if I left Santa a potato, he would probably give me like a solid gold bar or something like, ho, 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 potato. He would love it. So I'm going to do that. Thanks for the idea, Scott. Next question is from Mayo Husko. ASA, do you play Star Wars Battlefront? Which Battlefront are you talking about? We got Battlefront from 2004, Battlefront 2 from 2005, Battlefront from 2005. 2015 and Battlefront 2 from 2017. So simple answer, yes, I play Battlefront because I've played all those games hundreds of times. I'm assuming you're talking about Battlefront 2, the most recent one. I haven't touched that game in quite a while. My personal favorite is the OG Battlefront from 2004. I love that Battlefront. I still play it here and there. Like, it's great. I love it. Next question is from Lisa Floney. I probably said your name wrong, so I do apologize for that. Anyways, question is, what is your first Lego set? My very first ever Lego set was a Lego Star Wars Battle Pack. It was the 7654 Battle Droids Battle Pack from 2008. I believe I actually got two of them for Christmas one year when I was a wee little kid and that's probably what kickstarted my love for Lego Star Wars and I actually did a short review on it. I'm just gonna give myself a cheeky little plug here if you want to check it out. It's only a minute long so like by the time it gets boring it's over right? Correct! And it's time for me to embarrass myself with mispronouncing another person's name. I'm probably going to get this so very wrong. AJ Lockin. I, I, I probably said that wrong. I do apologize. What is your favorite era of Lego Star Wars? That is a fantastic question because like Lego Star Wars has just so many amazing years, you know, like have passed and it's like, wow, that was a great year for Lego Star Wars. I'm assuming that's what you mean by era. I think I'm going to go with 2009 though, because like I'm probably just blinded by nostalgia. I just absolutely 
absolutely loved the Clone Wars sets. I had a huge majority of the Clone Wars sets. It was just so much fun to play clones versus droids because yes, when I was little, I played with my Lego. I loved being the clone troopers and the Jedi blowing up the Separatists and the droids and all that stuff. It was just so much fun. Those sets were just killer. Like, they were amazing. I think they were very high quality. Of course, it's Lego, so like, it's always high quality, right? That was like my favorite time frame, basically, was like 2009. Those sets were just amazing. And so, those are all the questions for this episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. If you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below. I'll pin my favorite to the top, which means you get to go first. Leave a like if you enjoyed. It helps out a lot. I'm gonna ask again, just for the hell of it, if you're not subbed to the channel and you like what you see, consider doing so. You know, it's free and you can always change your mind. Blech. I always hate when people say that. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day and take care. Goodbye!